Anyway, so I have a virtual machine set up here. So we can go through kind of the process of getting an environment set up. So first go to dlang.org, download the Windows installer if you're on Windows, if you're not on Windows, um, you'll figure it out. I'm sure you're familiar with how to install things. Um, so make sure that here, like, okay. So if you want to work in Visual Studio, you should download Visual D. That will be the extension that lets you work in Visual Studio. But I'll be honest, my experience with Visual D has been horrible. It has been absolutely awful, and I would not recommend anyone to use it. I simply in having it installed and then working on a library, so a, a DLL file, with nothing out of the ordinary happening, it had completely just fucked my entire install. It, it I, I absolutely, I'm still upset about it. <laughs> so I, I would just not bother with that. But if you want to try it, you can try it. You can also download DMC, which is the Digital Mars C uh, compiler. But I'm just going to hit next. It'll install into CD, C slash D, whatever. Um, and then we can head over here while that's doing that. And we're going to get LDC because DMD is generally kind of fucking bad. Um, it's, it's not amazing. I, I've had nothing but issues with DMD, and I've had nothing but ease of use with LDC. So uh, we download that. Takes us to GitHub. Go up to releases. Grab the release. Let's see Windows X64. Open file. Oh, do I not have 7-zip? So let's grab 7-zip. I thought I had it on this VM, but I think that was on another user. Another VM. So sorry about that. We'll do that. All right, epic, super cool. <clears throat> okay, it's installed. Hmm, annoying. Computer, see. See here, users, and seven zip. Cool. So we can go into here. And we'll put all of that. We'll just put it on the desktop. You, I wouldn't put this on your desktop. I put it in like documents and somewhere, somewhere in your C or D drive, whatever. Um, LDC two. So we'll paste all that in there from seven zip, or I guess not paste it, but we'll drag it in there. Um, and we need to add this to our path. So what you go, what you do is you go into bin, you go up here, you copy this explorer path, you type in environment, environment into Windows, search, you go to environment variables, and you click on path. Click edit, click new, and then copy and paste that path from earlier. Enter, hit OK, hit OK, and hit OK. Now, if you had any command prompts or terminal windows open prior to this, you'll need to restart them. Um, so now, if we do LDC2, we have the compiler, we're good to go. So now let's install Visual Studio Code. And you probably already have Visual Studio Code, and that's great. I'm very happy for you. Um, but VS Code has generally, unless I'm missing something, VS Code has the best option in terms of workflow um, that you would likely kind of be accustomed to as it is. So I'll install that. In hindsight, yeah, I should have had this installed. My bad. Okay, launch it. All right, now we'll go to extensions. We'll search D. Who would have thought that didn't get us anything? D lining. There we go. So we have, yeah, this is it. So Web Freak has done great work on this. Um, it's still a little finicky sometimes, you know, um, but it's totally fine uh, for what it is. It, it gets the job done and then some. So. 
very big thank you to him for actually making that. Okay, so now... Okay, I actually need one more thing, because I'm not going to be able to actually use this fucking... Okay, cool. So now we can... We should be able to, at least. Can we type dub? Awesome. So this is... Oh, I can type. Zoom in here. So dub is the CLI that uh, is provided when you install DLang. So dub is really cool. It lets you start projects, um, add, add dependencies to projects, stuff like that, right? So if we say dub init, and then we'll say um, example. So here I always choose JSON. It just seems like the easier way to go about things. We'll say example. Oh, Example project. And we can say, okay, yep, it's a minimal D application. Yeah, Dave Murphy wrote it. That's exactly who wrote it. And we'll give it a uh, Apache 2.0 license. Why not? And copyright for Dave Murphy. And we will not add any dependency like that, at least. Cool. So now, if we go back to our desktop, we'll see that this was made. It's a little example project. And if we go here and then we type code example which just opens up the okay oh right 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 i didn't sub visual studio after i open up the terminal there we go so now we have our example program open or project rather and we have this and we do have syntax highlighting right off the bat so visual d is working or not visual d but d uh the, the d extension for visual code is working and that that's fan, that's just fantastic. So we'll zoom in a little bit. I absolutely never use this terminal. I, I don't know anyone. I, I, I just yeah. I don't I don't use it. So here, if we go back and then just CD into our example folder, we should just be able to type dub. Cool. And I and an output code. So let's change this to right line. Hello world. So now, what if we don't want to use, because if you just type dub like that, it will use DMD by default, which is the Digital Mars D compiler, um, to, to compile your stuff. What if you want to use LDC2? Well, you just type dub hyphen hyphen compiler equals LDC2. And you have to have it added to your path like we did before. And it works all the same. So... That is just the very introductory portion of just getting your environment set up. You'll be good to go. Um, if you don't already use it, make sure to try out Commander. Commander is absolutely great. So I'm actually going to relinquish control from the VM and control. Actually, let me do it over here first. Okay. All okay. right. So now I'll come back over to the other monitor. Language control. Oh, can I can I can I do this? Oh, there we go. So I should be able to do there you go. So I can just hit uh, control tilde and I have my terminal pulled down. And commander does a lot of great things um, in terms of letting you multitask, letting you um, use commands that you might be used to from from uh, new slash Linux and, and all that jazz. Uh, so Commander is a great tool to have. It gets out of your way when you don't want it, and it's right there when you need it. So if you do install Commander, uh, go into the settings, which you just right click down here and go to settings, Oop, right there. And then you go to Quake style and you enable it, or else you're just going to get like a regular terminal window that you have open that you like alt tab into. You enable it, and then I have my animation to 100, and then um, in the size and position, these are the values that I use, or you can just go to full screen or whatever. And Commander is absolutely great. It saves me its own time. So, yeah. Anyway, that is it for this one. And now you have your environment set up and all that, and you are good to go.